Hello and welcome to Four Clovers Quilting. My name is Dion. I'm so happy you're here with me today and I want to show you a few things that I've purchased. I'm trying to be better but I am not doing very good at it so here we go. All right how about you guys? Are you doing good on your shopping? Have you Are you buying and then sewing or are you just buying like me? I've just I thought I was doing well. Pfft, not so much. Well one thing I want to do coming up is like do I think I have, uh, I think it's 48 blocks I've picked out that I want to do and then do a block a day and then do a light background on one and a dark background on the same one just so you can see the difference on how it looks just to give it a, so I'll be doing two quilts with 48 blocks in them is how, what I'm hoping for down the pike. So the first one I wanted to do is I went to my quilts and more and I took my friend Wendy and I want to do something like a navy background and then I want to put all these fun and I don't know if these are all going to make the cut but I picked out all these really fun brights to go with that. I thought that would be kind of a fun bunch of blocks. So this is down the way a little bit but all of these guys and this I just thought was so fun. And then I found a multi, it's over on the step, I didn't bring it over. Then I found a, a white with multicolored confetti brights on it. And I found a bright layer cake that I want to work with. So that'll be the companion to this guy. Okay, now here's the stack of stuff that I've, that I have no idea what I want to do with. But these, I have a plan. Okay, more quilts and more stuff. This, I brought two pieces of this collection, and it is called, I can't get a hold of it, it's called Double Bubble Kitty Trouble, and there it is, fun, I like me some kitties, well, here's the companion, like me some kitties, and there's something about this lime green, or this really fun green with the purple and the orange, that just rings my bell. I think they're really fun. <laughs> and so I bought these two pieces at Quilts and More just, I suppose, a week and a half ago. Then I saw a video not too long ago on Fabric Cafe where they were doing row quilts. And I'm wondering if it wasn't the Fabric Matchmaker. Fran Morgan does these Fabric Matchmakers and people send in their really cool fabric swatches that they don't know how to match or what pattern to use and she does a really fantastic job on getting these pieces of fabric in the quilt and they give they send you the book with the pattern in it and one yard cut of the two other pieces to go with your the fabric you submitted for the fabric matchmaker really fun if you've not watched those check that out it's fabriccafe.com so they were doing a row quilt and they, somebody had these vintage, I swear it was vintage ladies, because then I had to go on to search for vintage ladies. And I found these, and this is just called Simplicity Vintage, Simplicity Sewing. And I'm going to have them upside down. They are so fun. They're a little smaller than I thought, but they're really cool. And I wanted to just do one long piece of these, these cool looking chicks, and then do some matching fabrics with it but I thought it was so cute let's see if I can get you whoops I'm dropping stuff let's see if I can get you the salvage and it just says simplicity vintage right like so so I bought that and I got it online at an Etsy shop and <laughs> Naomi wrote me a really nice little note from this shop and it's called Homestead Cottons, like that. And that's their Etsy shop. And she said, um, thank you for so much for the purchase and supporting my small business. I tucked in a retractable tape measure that I hope you can use. I keep mine with me all the time. Hope you have a lovely day, Naomi. Fantastic handwritten note, a little gifty that, you know, you're never expecting a gift, but you always like a little extra gift. So that came from Homestead Cottons on the Etsy shop, along with this really cute vintage Simplicity fabric. 
So check them out if you get a chance. Super fun. I loved it. Then, I suppose it's been a couple weeks ago, I went up to my hometown in Plentywood, Montana, where I was raised, and the barbershop there has batik fabrics in the back. It's, it's fun because there's not a fabric store there. We have, well, there is a little one, and I'll, I bought some stuff from them. We have the barbershop, which has the barbershop in the front, and then you go to the back, and there's a table of batiks, and you just cut it yourself, and you pay, and out you go. And I think it was seven bucks a yard. So I bought two yards of this pretty one. I thought that was so fun. And the greens and the purples and the blues, yum. So I got two yards of this boy, bad boy. And I got two yards of this. And it's it's so different. And I just thought it was really cool. The purples and the peaches. And with these really cool flowers, I just thought fussy cut, something fun. I don't know. So two yards of each of those at the barbershop in Plentywood, Montana. So that was kind of cool. Then these next three pieces are from, let me get their card out. This is the Little Fabric Shop Quilt Store in Plentywood. And um, it's so funny because one of my best friends back in the day used to live in that house. And you just go right through the house and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's the kitchen, there's my friend Robbie's old room. And, you know, it's just, it's just like a flashback to the, you know, 1984. And I just, it's just so wild that this shop is now, you just kind of walk through the kitchen and the shop is through the kitchen and it is called Hairball Creations. They've got a lot of kitties and they're all fantastic. Here's their card. They do have, they do have a website. Let me get my fingers out of the way. And Julie is awesome and her daughter Molly run it. And it is Hairball Creations in Plentywood, Montana. And this is what I got there. I bought three pieces there. This is called Royal Plume by, oh, I never know how to say her name, Chong. I'm just going to say Chong for Timeless treasure, Treasures. So pretty. The camera's not doing it justice at all. It is just this really pretty turquoise and some bl light blue with this gold. Yummy. So I got that piece, and Poe's going to come up and visit us, it looks like. Then I have this piece, which is, what's it called? It says Katie. Timeless Treasures. Timeless Treasures? Yeah. So that's all it says. But I thought that would be a really fun background for something. And it's got these little stars on it and little dots, and really fun. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. So I got that piece, and this one, I must have been in a really light, yummy, <laughs> light mood for these light yummies that day. This is called Camilla by P&B Textiles, and that is so pretty. I think I like it that way. Ha! And just these, the blues, the purples, ooh, so yummy. So those three fabrics I got at Hairball Creations in Plentywood. So check them out. They're really nice gals, and it's fun to go in there. I try not to get to my hometown without going to at least there. And I have to eat at this one restaurant all the time. I eat one thing there all the time. Yum. But once in a while, the barbershop's not open, so I can't get a batik. But I can go here and get all kinds of goodies. So then Joanne Fabrics was having a sale. So, of course... Stop looking, D. Just stop looking at the fabric. Can't stop. I can't stop looking. So I found this. It's called, it's just called Keepsake Calico. And it must be just Joann's. That's got a big old wrinkle in it. Must be Joann's, just their brand. And I just thought this was so pretty. I don't know. It just made me think of a geode or like an oil slick. I just thought it was really fun. Yummy colors. Then this one, love, love, love. Oh, and it's got a black background. So, you know, that is a, it's called Bell and Blue by Frecky and Lolly. Wow. <laughs> so let me get that up there so you can see it. Well, I'm not doing a very good job. Bell and Blue. 
and it's these yummy stars on the black. Ah, I think that is so yummy. It's got the black, the blue, the, the lavender, the mint. Oh, so this rings my bell big time. I love it. And then this, it's a little different than I normally get. And it just says keep, keepsake calico. But I thought it was really cool. Just this floral and I'm not, I think maybe it goes that way. Pinks and the purples and the turquoises on that yummy purpley background. I thought, ooh, that's cool. And that's, it just says keepsake calico on the bottom. So that's what I got from Joann's. Okay, then there's another little place in town that's called Ribbon and Rail. And my mom used to work there. She was in the fabric area and they have crafts and fabrics and scrapbooking, cricket stuff, puzzles. And in the basement, they have a train. The owner runs model trains and they sell models and, and train parts and just all kinds of goodies in the basement. So I don't know how many times I went by this. And it is... What is it called? Madalie for QT Fabrics. But that's the name. It's really hard to see. But I think that's so cute. I don't know why. I just, the peaches and the purples and the fuchsias or the magentas on that kind of like black and white etched background. I just thought it was so cool. And I think I walked by it. I probably was in there three or four times and I finally said, you're coming home with me. The bolt's getting low and I got to have me some of this. So then I thought, I thought on that first group I showed you that I'm going to do the, the 30 blocks in 30 days or 40 blocks in 40 days. I couldn't find a peach that I loved. So I just got the, I just picked these two up for, for fun and they might match this. They might match something else. They might just live in the stash. But a couple of peaches, peach and an orange, I should say. And I am, I lost my dad a little over a year ago. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, he had, I live in the basement where I am now, right now. And he had, the whole basement's mine except for his room. <laughs> it was his gun room, bill paying room, study. He was his library. He had all kinds of stuff in there. So... Ray took all the rifles to his house, to his gun safe. And I have all the handguns left here, which is kind of weird. Oh, my, my cat's playing in the bags over here. But, you know, everything's safe. We're all good. And I have drug 90% of the stuff out of that room into my living space down here. And it is a disaster. I have got credenzas and shelves and bookcases and piles of books and oh, but I've I've taken the wallpaper down Ray and I took the wallpaper down we got the chair rail off we filled the holes we did some, did some spackling because under the wallpaper it was just I had half the wall spackled and half the wall not so I I did some texturizing I don't know what I'm doing so sprayed some of that on there and um I have a painter coming the week of Memorial Day. So Memorial Day is Monday. That's next Monday. And she will be here Tuesday. Going to paint everything crisp white. And we're going to do black trim. And then Ray and I are going to paint the floor black glitter. Because, <laughs> you know, nothing says fun like glitter. And that is going to be my new library. So, of course, I thought, hmm, I know there's a quilt somewhere. I know I've seen one with books and stuff. So... Well, I'll show you this first. So I bought this book nerd pattern. So cute. And look, it seems like these are paper piece, these little pages here. I think that I didn't really look into it very much. And acrylic templates, templates for these books are coming out. I reached out to, let's see what this gal's name is, Angela. Angela Pingel or Pingel, I don't know how to say it. Me, me with names, I stink at it. But I reached out to her because it said, right here it says, acrylic acrylic templates, you know, available for this. So I couldn't find it anywhere on her website. 
So she, she got back to me the next day. I sent it in the evening. She got back to me the next day and said, they're in production. They should be coming out anytime. So I'm looking forward to getting some little templates so I can do some fussy cutting of these books. And well, now I got to dig down here. Oh, I'll get to that in a minute. I have some, I bought some special fabrics for these book pages just because I thought it'd be cute. Maybe it's silly, but this is going to be the quilt on my chair and a half that is in my library. Ha! So I'm super excited to get working on this. And I think I want to do it all like, because I like Halloween. <laughs> so it's going to be all spooky, maybe a purple background with some spooky books. And I don't know, but that's what I have in my noggin at this point. So we have that guy. So then I thought, I saw this fabric and I freaked. It was on Hancock's of Paducah. And I said, I'm just buying some yardage because I don't know what I need. And I want this for the back of my library quilt. Look at those old books. Aren't they cool? So I love it. So that is going to go on the back of, oh, I should probably tell you what it is because this probably does have an actual salvage on it. That is going to go on the back of that book nerd quilt. It is called, it is Amy Stewart for Robert Kaufman, and it is called Library of Rarities. Yes, Library of Rarities, that is a really cool collection. They have perfume bottles, which I'll show you here in a minute, and library scenes. I just loved it. The whole collection was really, really cool. Stamps and just antique looking. Oh, it was so cool. So there you go. Be sure to check that out. Library of Rarities is the is the fabric line. Really cool. Whoops, now I've got this. I've got this all kitty wampus. So we're just going to throw it down here. Throw it down right there. And yep, yeah, that was at Hancock's of Paducah. And then I think I probably needed something to get free shipping. <laughs> so I bought this little patriotic panel that was, I thought, so darn cute. And even though I'm a cat person, I thought these dogs were super, super sweet. If I can get this bad boy open. Let's see what it's called. It is called Paws for America by Jill Miller for Studio E. So this is what it's called. Had Paws for America. So cute. And it looks like so. And I love Americana fabrics. And these are so sweet. Hopefully you can see them because I can't see you. And then we're going to peek around the corner and see if you can see these. Oh my goodness, they're so sweet. So aren't they cute? So there we go for those guys. And that was also from Hancock of Paducah. And they were on sale. So of course, I'm like, I've got to get me some of those because, you know, I don't have enough fabric. Okay. Now this, I thought this was fantastic. I had ordered from these guys once or twice before, throwing stuff over, and it is called, let me just, let me get in my little trusty case here. It is called My Favorite Quilt Store, and just, I am so impressed with their packaging. My Favorite Quilt Store, and Check them out online. They've got a ton of stuff. Their prices are usually pretty good. And so I ordered my 11 pieces of fabric or whatever. And it always comes, I had to save this to show you. It's, it's pretty wrinkly. They have their My Favorite Quilt Store, store um, tissue paper that everything comes wrapped in. So it is so cute. It is just, I'm so impressed with their packaging and their shipping just really, really cool. Okay. Here's one of those library, library pieces from, this is the, uh, what was it called again? Oh man. Rarities. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Maybe that's not the same. This one just says timeless treasures and nothing. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's like a library, like a library scene. And I want to put this kind of on a canvas, Mod Podge it on a canvas. 
So I thought that was really kind of cool and funky for my library. So that one came from my favorite quilt store. And then there's another library one, but I should have got, I went with a half a yard and I didn't get a very, my half a yard is not, is not how I, you know, I should have just got a yard because you never know how that, how that is going to cut. So we have another library scene and, but my table's cut off and it's up here. So I may just make little tiny cool things out of that, but I wanted to do another little canvas, but I might just do littler ones, but it's really fun. And this one, yes, this is called Library of Rarities. This is from that, that really fun line by Amy, now who did I say? Amy Stewart for Robert Kaufman. Yum, so fun. Let me get the other piece that matches. This is, or it's the same line, it really doesn't match. Um, oh, am I wrong? No, this is Library of Rarities, but this says Lars Stewart. And this is Perfume Bottles. Do I have it upside down? Oh, no, I don't. I just can't see very good. Yum! Look at the colors on that. I, I freaked. I loved it. And that is, there to get, is again, Library of Rarities. I love it. So, creative juices are going. Then I saw this, and I couldn't, I just couldn't, couldn't not. Black cats with all different colored eyes. So, there goes my Halloween again. Timeless Treasures. And it's called Wicked. So, yay! I love all these cats. Some of them look kind of grumpy, but eh, sometimes they are. <laughs> so, there we go. All kinds of... Oh, let's get them the right way. There you go. So, they're kind of fun. Then, this one, I, you know, you get to adding... Do you, maybe you don't. I just add stuff to my cart. Add, 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 add. Then I look at the total and go... Can't do that much. And then I'd start weeding down. Well, then I weeded down too far and I needed to put in like $8 to get free shipping. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I just do silly stuff sometimes. Then there's this one that I thought was just yummy. I thought those colors were really pretty. And this one is called, what is this bad boy called? It's another Robert Kaufman and... It is, oh, be free. So here is the designer, and I can't really read that. Be free. There you go, Robert Kaufman. And just yummy. I always think if I get a yard and a quarter, then I can fiddle around with a three yard quilt and maybe fussy cut. <laughs> okay. Oh, one more. Then to go with my to go with my spooky Halloween. I love writing on fabric. I just think it's so fun. And this has, of course, a black background, which rings my bell. And it is called uh, Halloween Countdown by Urban, Urban Essence Designs for Blank Quilting. And there you go. Okay. Now, this is, on this, on this pattern, they have all these little pages right here. Well, maybe it's a silly idea, but I thought, I'm going to get fabric with writing on it. <laughs> so, I was still at my favorite quilt store. My favorite, yeah, my favorite quilt store. And I found these writing, these things with writing on it, fabrics with writing on it. So, I picked a whole bunch of different colors, I think five different colors. That writing might be a little bit big, but we'll see in pink and I've got an all over kind of blue writing. I could fussy cut and get some blue writing and then some tiny black. Oh, I'm so excited. And some tiny green. And this is a fancy scripty white. So, you know, this is what I do when I can't sleep at night. I sit there and think, think, think. 
So I'm hoping that will be cute on the pages of the book or the binding of the book. I just think it'll be kind of fun. So that's what I ordered from them. And then I got all this stuff as a freebie. They sent a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, they are, well, here's their, here's their card, my favorite quilt store. And they do have YouTube videos. So that's their card. They sent me a little iron-on, little iron-on patch of their logo. And they sent me these little tools to clean my machine or put mascara on with. Ah, no, I don't wear that. I should, but I don't. This is, this is what you get. And these little tools, which are really cute. Then they sent this sweet little, it says, sewn with love. And they're so fun. They're really cute little notebooks with a, with a, they have a little magnet that closes them. Really cute. That was, all this was a freebie. And they sent me two Villa Rosa patterns. This one is called About Face. And it has their, it has their quilt store on the bottom. And it takes five inch squares. 45 inch squares for that matter a whole charm pack which is cool and it is about 37 by 48 or 50 by 61 with the optional border so there's that bad boy and I'm going to cover that up but it's a little easier to see with all of that busyness but cute and then this other Villa Rosa pattern I'm trying to drop stuff it's called beach walk for a panel you need a panel and it is approximately 56 by 68. And that's what that looks like. So two freebies along with all the other freebies. And they sent me this really cute little bag. And so it begins. And it's all lined, it's super cute. All of that was free. I, I about keeled. I couldn't believe all that stuff they sent me. So that was really fun and I wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to put it all back in my little baggie. Ah, all the all the goodies. Then I got, well, if you guys watch Fabric Cafe, they're coming out with new books every 20 seconds. I can't keep up. So <laughs> I, um, years ago, I bought this book and it was quick and easy three yard quilts. And it was a download only at that time. So I I bought three kits, then you get you get the book for free, so I just downloaded it. Well, I want it in the real I want it in paper form or in book form. So this is the this is the pattern I did on it. It was it was picture perfect is what the pattern's called. And I did it with the black and white kitties with the pink and blue sashings. It was really fun. So quick and easy three yard quilts. You get eight patterns. And this is one of those strip quilts that I was talking about. You have one piece of fabric, and then you have a design, and then one piece of fabric. So those little simplicity ladies might go in something like that. So I went online to their fabric cafe, and I got their three book deal. Yay! <laughs> so I got this one. And make it easy with three yard quilts. This one, that's a newer one. And of course it has eight designs in it which is super fun. And then this one, is this their newest one? I think they came out with a newer one just like a week or so ago. So this one is called Go Bold with Three Yard Quilts. And this one is really fun also. I love that one. I love that one. Oh, that one. I like them all. They're yummy. But yeah, super fun. So this one's Go Bold with Three Yard Quilts. So I ordered those just because, you know, I thought, I'm not going to buy fabric. I'm just going to, I'm going to get a couple books. So, yeah, still spending money. Then I ordered, <laughs> I ordered a few patterns from Villa Rosa. I thought, I, I've got the itch to buy something. So, you know, as if this wasn't enough. But sometimes they're two bucks a piece and it's free shipping. So I, I said, I'm doing it. And every first of the month or beginning of the month they release I think it's five new patterns and so gotta always check what's the newbies 
This one is a table runner called Blueberry Cobbler. And you just, it's for mini charms. And it's about 16 by 52 inches. Cute! I think that looks so sweet with those low volume backs, backgrounds. And then you have this pretty blue. You could do it scrappy, you could do it multi. I just think that's really fun. So that's Blueberry Cobbler. Then we have Candies, which looks fun. This takes 36 five inch squares and some background fabric. And it's 41 by 60. No, 60, 41 by 46. Whew. It's getting too late, it worked all day. So Candies is this one and I think that's cute and you need four little background fabrics to go with your charms. Shoots and Ladders. This one I think is really fun. It is for a pack of 42 and a half inch strips. It's 50 by 70. So I think that's so fun. And a little bit of background for the, the, the creamy color or the light color is the background on here. So yay, shoots, shoots and ladders. Yes. 50 by 70. I don't know if I said that, but it's 50 by 70. Gummies is what this is called. It's 42 10 inch squares, 51 by 59. And I just like those geometric ones that, that they have little cutouts and it's just, it's just fun. So there's no background fabric. It's just the layer cake. Link up. I think this is cute. And I really think this is super cool how they have the border fabric in there. They've got these links and then they've got a strip of those ladies could go in there. You know, just saying, those simplicity ladies could go right along there. This is a border stripe or a theme fabric. And then you have centers and background. Bop, 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 bop. 55 by 70. So super cute. This is called Merry Trees. Uh, bop, bop, bop. You need eight or more two and a half inch by with the fabric strips. A little bit of brown and some background. 17 by 55 for these little trees, little table runner. I thought it was super cute and I love pumpkins. I don't know why. Pumpkin pa patterns and tree patterns. I've not made one, but I've got a bunch because I think they're super, super cute. So this is Merry Trees. <laughs> then Sorbet, I think Sorbet was a new one. This takes eight fat quarters, and then you need a, a little um, accent fabric. It's 48 by 57. So how easy is that? That looks super easy, super quick, and it's cool. I like that you can have some cool focus fabric and not cut it up. So that was called Sorbet. This is called Stepped, and it's a it takes 12 fat quarters. 66 by 78. Oh. You must need some kind of a background fabric too. Yes, accent. Accent fabric of two yards. So I think that is super cute. And 68 by 78. That's cute. And it's big. So that's that looks fun. I, I love all those brights with the black in it. it. It's cool. And this window weave, I think, is a new one too. This is, just looks like yardage, and it's 42 by 54. So I think that's super fun. Again, you can use really fun focus fabrics in there and window weave. So I think that's all I did. I could have spent more. <laughs> so you guys, thank you for coming along on this fabric patterns freebies journey with me today. It was really fun to hang out with you guys and show you my goodies. And let me know what you'd like to see. Have you used any of these fabrics? Is there something you've made with them? Let me know. I want to see. Send a picture. I'd like to see. Also, have, have any of you done any of these Villa Rosa patterns? Have you done the book nerd quilt? If you did, was it easy? It looks like it might be a little challenging, but I think it'll be fun. And I just love, I just love the books. I think it is so fun and it'll be so, so cute for my library. And that's coming along. I get paint next week. And then I have three more bookcases to build. Yep, 
I have to buy them and then build them. I'm one of those, those that, you know, get them from Amazon, put them all together. And I'm going to make it a little blingy because I like a little glitter, a little shim sham. So I bought some glitter wallpaper, purple glitter wallpaper to put on. I'm going to build the whole cabinet and then I'm going to put the glitter wallpaper on the back and then nail the back on. I think usually they have those little nails. So you'll see a little bit of glitter and, and fun between the books and stuff. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I have three bookcases that are already built and ready to roll, and I bought three new ones to build. And I'm gonna pop, Ray doesn't know this, but I wanna pop the back off of the existing bookcases and put the purple glitter back there so they all match. And um, I have a little corner desk I'm going to build. And because I didn't know how to get my bookcases to line up in the corner and then there's a gap and stuff falls behind. And I just thought, I don't, I don't want to do that. I, there's got to be a better way. So I found this cute corner desk and it's got, I wanted a little corner desk and it had a little shelf. And underneath the shelf is LED lights. So I'm going to make it purple in there. It's going to be fun ambiance. And I also ordered a new purple deep purple yummy colored chair and ottoman to go in there. I have my big chair and a half that's going to go on the far side. I have a pull down lamp that dad had over his desk and that's going to be my chilling out in the big chair. And then in my, there's, how do I want to say it? You're going to walk in and it's going to be library. And then there's going to be the chill out place on the other side of the library wall. And with the pull down lamp and I have a TV there and I have an extra little electric, <clears throat> excuse me, electric fireplace that has all kinds of different colors and and it heats or it doesn't heat. You can just have the, the pretty colors. And I'm going to put that in the bottom of what was the gun cabinet. And so keep your fingers crossed that it's going to work out because I have all these visions and I'm like, oh, it's going to be so cool. And I've drawn on the floor Ray and I went around and we measured all the pieces of furniture and we drew on the floor and I'm like, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. So I think we've got it pretty much figured out. <laughs> so I will try to get, do a little quick tour if anybody's interested once I get everything kind of in place. So you guys, thank you again for coming along, spending some time with me tonight. And um, I am so blessed that you guys are here with me and thank you so, so much. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share with a friend, make a comment, give me a thumbs up. Anything you do helps my channel grow, and I am so, so, so thankful. Please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay creative. See you soon. Bye-bye.